Welcome back. Head shaking across the Lone Star State as Texas A&M University parted ways with its coach Jimbo Fisher. The cost of this gridiron divorce around $75 million to fulfill the remainder of a contract both long on years and zeros. Championship craving Aggie donors clearly with cash to burn are privately footing the bill and will have to pony up even more for Fisher's replacement. Panel, I love football as much as most Texans, but does anyone feel a sense of the absurd here? I'm going to start with you, Holly. <laughs> yes, very absurd. I mean, it's it's just a, a, a kind of an extrapolation of this problem in our society where we prioritize sports over academics. And, you know, I'm glad this is private money, but we see this with public money when we look at the K-12 education system in the state of Texas. We've got these Taj Mahal football stadiums. We also have uh, superintendents who get contract buyouts regardless of uh, the reason that they were relieved. I think it was KDISD at a contract buyout was $750,000 taxpayer dollars, not private dollars. Uh, this has got to stop. Look, I went to the University of Texas and we are highly capable of this kind of behavior as well. I just found out you're, uh, you're, you're a 12th man. Uh, what's your take on this? Oh, Fighting Texas Aggie like class of 94 <laughs> and this is terrible. It's embarrassing. Uh, those dollars could fund my school for 37 years. Okay. Cool. So at a minimum they should make Jimbo go out and mow the yard. Like he should show up to work every Monday, mow the yard, make him earn it. Uh, it's embarrassing that this is happening and yes it's privately funded dollars but it also tells you that we have a lot of money to burn on the wrong things. All right Marcus, uh, I got to get your take on this. Oh man, listen, uh, I, I, I have to agree with the sentiment that, that Paul expressed. Uh, this is, you know, I've heard the, I've heard it, um, the, the disclaimer of this is private money. Yeah, it's, it is private money. It's not tax dollars money, but it is showing where we are as human beings, where we are as citizens, when we allow so much to happen in our, in our city, our state, and our country, and our philanthropy is for, uh, you know, football games to this tune. Here's the other tragic part. Those men on that field, <clears throat> they don't get that luxury. Nope. They make the $75 million possible, yep. but they don't get the luxury of if they hurt themselves in the first two years of their career, they don't have an insurance policy that covers them for the rest of their life. That's the tragic part. Gary, you've uh, done settlements before. Uh, what, what do you make of this? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an Aggie joke is what it is. <laughs> Why this guy got, think about this, he already had four or five years left on his contract when he got extended for winning a bowl game, not winning a championship. They didn't have to do that. And part of it is, I think some of the people I've talked to said, look, hire these coaches, pay them what's fair, but don't give them these exorbitant long contracts. And if they fail, Get rid of him. If someone else wants to hire him, God bless him. How take many him. Aggies <laughs> does it take to make Jim, J Jimbo the richest Jimbo in all uh, 12? <laughs> all right, <laughs> <laughs> Still to come, the Lone Star.